What's up everybody, this is B-Boy Spaz, and today we're going to take a look at the Kong Drum Designer in Reason 5. Basically, we're just going to take a quick overlook of where all the buttons are laid out, what's under them, and where things are. And then after that, in future videos, we'll step inside of what you can actually do in each little spot. So to create a Kong, just select the mixer, we're going to go to Create kong drum designer and here it is kind of looks like an npc which is really cool um i'm actually a huge fan of the kong for multiple reasons which i will not go into today but it's yeah a huge improvement that reason is added it's really really cool so basically up here in the top left this is where you load your sound sets this is more for grouped sounds that are already set to all of your pads so like the stuff that comes in the reason refills you would just hit the folder here, and then you can start browsing all your refills for what type of drums you want. Like, I can go to my club kits, or my, I don't know, hip-hop kits, or anything, basically. And as you see now, I have all my sounds loaded in there. So that's one way. These arrows will just flip through different sound sets as well. Here's your pitch wheel, your mod wheel, those your keyboard can also control. And my mobile me popping up. Ooh, your password. <laughs> Over here on the left side, this is basically to manipulate each different pad separately. Also, as you can see, we still have the same folder. This is for loading just a specific sound to that one pad. So as you see loaded here, I have brick wall BD1 or whatever. I can change the pitch of it, change the sustain, all types of different things. Also, these little cues give you a different layout of how high or low some of these settings are on each pad separately. Over here on the right side, you have your master level. That's for the Kong itself. And then you have your different pad settings, group settings. All this will go over in another video, your hit types, which is really cool to use, and your same cues again, as we saw over on the left side. Last but not least, at the bottom left here, this triangle will actually open up and you can further edit each different pad. This is the part I like the most because I feel right at home, because you can load up like an NN Nano, as they call it, which is basically an NNXT and you can just load sounds in there that way but this is where for each different pad you basically can load a different type of sound set so like an NXT type of thing or a physical bass drum or a synth hi-hat or something of that sort you can manipulate it here add different effects to it here this is the effects for everything but this section on the left is just for the pad itself and as you see, each one of these triangles will open up and give you different effects that you can actually plug in and start using. So those are your triangles there, your on-off buttons. Pretty straightforward. Also, you have your outputs, which is, yet again, another one of my favorites. If I want this kick drum to only come out of a certain area so that I can hop in the back and then plug it in, I can basically pick that here so that's just a quick overlook of Kong I'm not really gonna go any deeper than this this is just so you can see where everything is and explore for yourself kind of find out what's in there and don't forget I am back don't worry I did not disappear hit me up with questions I know I've been missing some but keep them coming gives me more video ideas and basically just subscribe to the page if you want to see more all right, peace.